Hi there and welcome to another episode of Demsec. Today we're going to be teaching you how to do a, what's known as a pivot. And uh, what a pivot is essentially, I'll just open up Microsoft Paint, is say this box here is a computer. This is the hacker's computer. So we'll uh, just paint that red for now. Um, over here we have a web server which is outside of their firewall so if we just draw this brush this here can be their firewall yeah pretty poor, poor, uh, poor drawing of a firewall and uh, fire in general but usually you have your web server outside the firewall but it actually has a connection inside the firewall so inside the firewall we'll have uh, a number of other computers which do not have access like they're not publicly accessible so what's a pivot is, is that the hacker will attack the web server, access this machine, but then use this machine to forward the attack inside the firewall to these machines, because this com this uh, web server actually has connections into the network. And even though this seems quite complex to do, it's actually quite easy. Before we get started doing it, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who's supporting the Demsec channel. We've actually managed to hit 303 subscribers and 23,000 video views. That is a huge number, guys. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to you guys for that. Um, without you, obviously, I won't be putting up content here. So here we have our backtrack box, and um, if you're up to date on your backtracks, you'll know that what you will have known that Backtrack 5R3 has been released. So I recommend going and getting that. Um, I'm gonna. I'll probably do a bit of a review at some point, but I haven't really had that much time to play with it. I've already got MSF console running. If you look back in our video series, we can. Uh, there's videos there which teach you how to use MSF console and how to run it. Up here we have a uh, Windows XP box. This is going to be acting as the web server. Um, this could be a Windows Server 2003 or 2008 box. I've just done Windows XP for uh, just because I had the ISO laying around, honestly. And up here we have a, another computer which is inside the network. So if we go into this machine, and we'll just type IP config in each of these, as you can see, this only has this has this IP address, which is on the 192.168.2 network. Uh, the Windows XP hat me too. Um, this is what is going to be acting as the web server, and it actually has two connections. It has this one, which is uh, the front facing connection which this box can access, this uh, backtrack box can access and there's uh, this um, internal network connection so what we're going to do is I'll just prove that I can't access this internal machine here I'll just do a ping 192.168.2.101 as you can see that's the IP of it there if I enter here I shouldn't be able to access it which I can't so what we're going to do is just do a we're just going to be using MSO8067, as you can, as you've probably uh, found out from my other videos, that is my favourite exploit, um, most useful I've found. But we're just going to use that for ease of use. Obviously, you could be using any kind of exploit here, anything which gets you um, interpreter payload. That's the only prerequisite, I guess, is that it has to use the interpreter payload. Regardless, it don't matter. It don't matter which type it is, it doesn't matter if it's a bind TCP or a ver reverse TCP, but it needs to use interpreter. So what we're going to do is uh, type use windows slash smb slash mso8 underscore 067 underscore net api and uh, that'll just tell us that we've selected that exploit. Then we have to set a payload, so we're going to sit, click, uh, type set payload. Um, Windows slash interpreter uh, uh, slash bind underscore. Uh, I did a silly there. <laughs> Never do shifting up, guys. Silly me. Uh, I'll just type interpreter again. Bind underscore TCP. As I said before, this could be reverse TCP or anything. Um, oops. Windows. And I've set that there. Like I said, it could be reverse TCP, reverse HTTPD. It doesn't matter at this point anyway. And what we're going to do now is just set the R host to the IP of this machine, the outfacing one, which is 192.168.1.110. 192 
we set that there and that's the only thing we have to set for now and I'm just gonna click uh, type exploit run that and this will give us a interpreter shell session even so uh, what you have to do here um, I don't think you have to do it but it's always good practice is type PS which will give you a process list and find the LSASS process which I can't seem to see there we go here it is 864 and we're just going to migrate to that and the reason we do that is so it gives us system access which is actually higher than an administrator's access and as you can see we've successfully migrated so now what we can do is just background this session or what I should actually tell you to, to, to do you can uh, type root which will give you a list of all the networks that this remote machine is connected to and as you can see it's connected to the 192.168.2 network which is the one that we want to access so what we're going to do now is just type background which will background that session now we're going to add what uh, the pivot so it's pretty simple all you have to do is type uh, root add and then the IP address of the machine you want to pivot to um, so this is going to be the final destination if you want to call it that 192.168.2.101 as you can see that is the IP of this machine obviously you'd be able to get these IPs by doing an nmap or something like that but I'm just uh, using ones that I've already predetermined just for the uh, sake of the video then after this you have to type the subnet mask so 255.255.255.0 is the 192.168.2 those kind of networks and then you have to tell it which session you want it to pivot through and as you can see it said background in session one so you just type one enter root added so what we're going to do now is set the R host to 192.168.2.101 and as you can see from this we don't actually have direct access to this uh, what's also good practice is if you type show options uh, you've got your L part and what we're going to do here is just set L part to 4445 or something like that. I just do that just to make sure we don't have any uh, collisions or anything like that. Then we're just going to type exploit. And this will pivot through our compromised web server and give us another interpreter session. And as you can see, it says interpreter session 2 opened, 192. So that's my IP to this IP through pivoting pivoting through this machine to this IP. And from here obviously we can type run VNC if we wanted to. In fact I will run that just so uh, you can see that it is actually connected to that machine. You just wait a second here for the VNC viewer to load. might take a couple of seconds usually it doesn't take that long while we're waiting I'll do a, a screen uh, a screenshot as you can see we took a screenshot and we are at 192.168.2.101 So that's how you do a pivot. Hope you've enjoyed this video guys, hope you found it useful, educational, um, and I guess this is going to mark me uploading videos again, hopefully uh, we'll keep getting many many more subscribers because that just motivates me to upload more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, bye bye.